when I flew the U-2, I had to wear a urine collection device. And I told Hadfield, and he was like, yeah, we don't wear those on spacewalks anymore. And I said, how come? And he goes, well, once the UCD has been on you for a few hours, you can't tell if it's on or off. And there's a story that NASA doesn't tell publicly of an astronaut who urinated during a spacewalk. The UCD was not on. The urine vaporized into his spacesuit, coated the interior of his visor, and to clear it, he had to push the visor up and use his face as a squeegee to clean the urine from his visor. That'll show him to pee his pants. When I flew the U-2, I had to wear a urine collection device. And I told Hadfield, and he was like, yeah, we don't wear those on spacewalks anymore. And I said, how When I flew the U-2, I had to wear a urine collection device. And I told Hadfield, and he was like, yeah, we don't wear those on spacewalks anymore. And I said, how come? And he goes, well, once the UCD has been on you for a few hours, you can't tell if it's on or off. And there's a story that NASA doesn't tell publicly of an astronaut who urinated during a spacewalk the UCD was not on. The urine vaporized into his spacesuit, coated the interior of his visor, and to clear it, he had to push the visor up and use his face as a squeegee <laughs> to clean the urine from his visor. That'll show him to pee his pants.